located in Campania region. Uh, these springs normally go in the um, Sele River, but after um, uh, the, that it's tapped 100 years ago, by a tunnel 20 kilometers um, length, of length, uh, the water crossed the water divide between uh, um, River uh, Sele and the River Ofanto and uh, fed the um, Puglia region. In red are shown the main channel of the Aquedotto Pugliese, Pugliese Aqueduct, which is the main uh, aqueduct of, of Italy. It's very long. Uh, the Puglia region is very uh, poor of uh, water resource because it's a flat area. It is a karst area, but all the um, uh, underground water flow to the sea by brackish spring. Uh, This is an overview of the Picentini Mountains, which fed the Aquedotto Pugliese, but also the uh, Aquedotto, Aquedotto of Naples, that uh, I will show in the next uh, presentation. This is a simple sketch of the northern side of the Picentini Mountain. The Caposele Spring is uh, fed by the Cervialto Karst Massif, which is uh, characterized by wide uh, endoraic areas. These wide endoraic areas uh, have uh, um, an important role in the recharge processes. On the west side, another uh, wide karst massif, the Termino karst massif, um, fed other basal karst springs. Some of uh, them, Cassano Spring, also supplied the Aquedotto Pugliese. This is a, a 3D view of the uh, Cervialto Massif, where we can see that uh, um, this area is characterized by high, high um, steep slope, and the big fold join the uh, flesh sequences with the, this karst terrain. Uh, the Piano Lasceno is the, the biggest uh, endoraic area of the Cervialto Massif. Uh, several sinkholes drain uh, this lake. Uh, after the earthquake of uh, 1980, uh, this lake was completely drained. A particular aspect of uh, the Campania slope is that the um, slope are covered by pyroclastic deposits, uh, which um, due, to, due to the volcanic eruption of the of Vesuvius. And this uh, soil mantle have an uh, important uh, um, consequence on the recharge processes in the deep karst aquifer. This is an old sketch of the tapping zone we see here, several drain into the karst rock, uh, collect to the mine channel, and uh, uh, also it was built also a dam to reduce the, the drainage. This is a, a photo inside the mine channel where a first measurement of discharge is uh, carried out. This is an old uh, uh, view of the Caposelli village uh, where we can see the high flow of springs before the capitation. And this is actually where only a little part is left for the Sele River. Uh, this is a, a um, distribution of the effective rainfall of the uh, in this area uh, where we can see that the, the peak of the rainfall, of the effective rainfall, uh, occur when the um, spring discharge uh, uh, reach the minimum value. In particular, the Caposelli spring has almost the, um, the opposite regime respect to the rainfall distribution. We can see here the hydrograph during a wet or during a dry year. 
During a wet year, the shape of Adograph is characterized by a, a flood during spring or summer time and uh, a minimum which occurred in, during autumn. Um, the, the hydrograph is characterized by almost absence of the peak typical of a typical karst spring. When, uh, um, uh, during dry year, uh, this discharge uh, is characterized by a continuous decreasing during all the hydrological year. And for water management, this type of hydrographs uh, are uh, very, uh, is an is answer. We can see here the flat spring um, uh, hydrograph occurred after the drought of 2002. This type of hydrographs is also shown in other cast springs of local cast springs. And uh, this, the consequence of this intense drought um, is present also in the discharge on the following for uh, of two, three years. Uh, in, uh, so it means that uh, the, the, um, the spring discharge have a difficult in uh, recover uh, its discharge after intense drought. Uh, this behavior uh, is not common to all springs, but all, all, only to a big spring like, uh, like Aposele. For example, in the Sereno spring, we cannot see this difficult in the recover of the discharge. This is a, a simple statistical analysis to show that uh, uh, the probability to reach a specific discharge in the, in the, in the, in the year depend on the condition of the, the, the uh, antecedent year. In the particular, after dry year, uh, it is more difficult to reach a uh, normal discharge. Okay, based on the long historical time series, the path of the rainfall, of the accumulated rainfall, which uh, provide a flood in the spring respect to that which did not provide a flood in the spring, that is this one or, or this one, are distinguished. There is, there are, there is an, an certain um, field which depend on the condition of the previous year. This is very useful for water management because monitoring rainfall, uh, we can estimate which is the future uh, discharge. Uh, on 23 November 1998, occurred a big earthquake in southern of Italy. The epicenter was located uh, just a few kilometers far from the Caposelli Spring. And uh, after, uh, one day, the day after the earthquake, the um, discharge of Caposelli Spring increased rapidly, and 45 days later, the earthquake uh, reached the maximum value of the historical series. In the other local spring, like uh, Spring of Cassano Springs, Bagno della Regina, and Polentina, the increase of the recharge occur uh, um, before the earthquake. Uh, some researchers suggest that it was uh, the possible sign of the, the, to, of the, the, the effect of the earthquake before it occurred. But uh, this is a controversial topic. Looking at the also to the rainfall which occurred in that year compared with the, the mean, with the historical mean, we can see that uh, in October 98, a big storm occurred and probably this storm caused the increase of a discharge of the Bagno della Regina or the other springs. So it's very difficult to use this data for uh, this type of purpose. For the Cervialto Cars Massive, uh, it has been uh, uh, made a model to, to estimate the, the recharge. The model is uh, based on two 
uh, step, in the first step, it is uh, estimate the, 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 the annual mean recharge, and in the second step, it is on, based on the daily scale, uh, it is estimated the amount of the rainfall which is which infiltrate in the karst aquifer and uh, provide in the and constitute the recharge. Uh, Besides, the model allow to distinguish uh, the endoraic area where the runoff cannot escape from the catchment respect to the, the rest of the catchment, which is characterized by steep slope, where uh, during intense rainfall, the rainfall can leave the, 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 the catchment. So, based on the uh, rain gauge and thermometer data, uh, uh, it is um, um, estimated the mine future, mine hydrological future, futures of the Cervialto massive. We can see the, here the five mine in the rig areas which, const, which uh, inside the, the, the Cervialto uh, catchment. This is the first step of the model. So I go fast on this, but uh, the, we have a long historical uh, measurement of discharge and of rainfall and temperature. So we can estimate the ratio between volume outlet from the spring and the volume of the effective rainfall which fell on the, on the catchment, distinguished for in endoraic or for uh, um, open area, the rest part of the of the catchment. And this is the salt uh, carried out for, uh, for, uh, in the, for annual, on, uh, on long-term annual scale, where we, we have found a um, um, recharge coefficient of uh, 0 0.66 uh, for the open area, that is for the area uh, outside the endoraic areas. The daily model works uh, sp uh, by sp uh, splitting the, the, the daily rainfall in uh, uh, evapotranspiration, in increased soil moisture, and the, uh, in amount which is called excess of rainfall. This is the part of the rainfall which is able or to uh, provide runoff or infiltrate deep in the karst aquifer. And uh, thanks to the annual um, uh, model, we can fix a threshold to separate the amount which, is in, which infiltrate for the amount which provide the runoff. This is an uh, example for the hydrological year 2011-2012. This is the model where we can see that uh, uh, the soil moisture increase up to field capacity. When the field capacity is reached, daily rainfall is able, is able to provide or uh, 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 um, rainfall exists, which is split in the runoff on the recharge. Of course, in the, in the rec area, the runoff is, is, a, is, a, um, uh, is a recharge. And uh, this is the, the threshold that has been fixed by annual model scale. The river gauge allow to, to, to verify the peak si simulated by the model with the peak uh, measured uh, by the river gauge. And uh, here are shown uh, all the daily recharge distinguished in the, uh, in the rake areas in the in the open areas, and uh, the thick line is uh, the, the accumulated recharge through the hydrological year. And uh, this is uh, uh, graph sh this graph show um, practically uh, how the recharge coefficient in open areas uh, change in uh, its consequence of a dry year or, or wet year. To compare the long uh, historical series of Caposele Spring, uh, we use data of several karst springs of uh, 
Campania region. The, uh, these are very important car springs, uh, generally more than one metric cube per second uh, uh, was a mean, uh, annual mean of discharge. And uh, uh, all the annual value has been standardized. So uh, in this graph, zero is a mean and uh, one is the standard deviation. In, in this way, we can compare practically the, 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 rate, the variation of the annual mean of the springs. We can see that uh, all the springs uh, almost follow the similar path. And in particular, we can see here the drought of 2002 and the drought of 1949. Uh, this is the effect of the earthquake that I have already shown. And in particular, we can see that all the spring discharge after 1987 here show a drop which caused the most, which, which caused a multi year drought, uh, which a bad consequence in the whole southern of, uh, of Italy. Only recently, uh, during the last year, we have observed that discharge is. Uh, increase and the value are comparable with the historical value. And this is the, the um, uh, 11 moving average of the real data where we can see that uh, all the, the this um, uh, discharge show a similar uh, oscillation and the, the drop after uh, in the, in the 1987 is a well uh, is a common to uh, to all springs. Just a few conclusion of my presentation. This Caposelle spring is a fundamental water source in southern of Italy. Two hydrological aspects enhance its usability, the absence of peak as a typical porous medium, and a regime almost opposite of the date of precipitation. Earthquake and drugs are natural phenomena which can cause long duration modification in the spring discharge regime, and the annual mean spring discharge seems to be reduced after the combined effect of the rainfall reduction and temperature increase. Okay, thank you. <laughs>